Howdy folks, today we're going to take a look at an HF file recorded using Scepter and played back in the static file mode. So Scepter has one of the coolest features I think where it's the ability to preload a file in and view it statically. What that allows you to do is get an overall view of the file and at will move around inside of it and look for different signals and extract those signals or perform analysis on those signals. If you look here, this is a 0 to 30 megahertz, so down the HF band. And to a lot of people, it's just going to look like noise. But once you start zooming in on some of this stuff, you'll see that here around the 20 meter band, we've got a lot of signals, a lot of traffic. So these are all voice. As we zoom in, we get pretty good resolution here but we have the enhance button. It's about the only time you can hit enhance and actually have it enhance or highlight what you want it to enhance or highlight, unlike on the TV shows. Go over here and hit enhance. And then where it really shines is when you get to looking at some of these smaller signals. Zoom in by frequency or time and frequency. If we look here, we've got some synchronized FSK signals. If we go out, we can actually zoom in here on some FT8. One of my favorite things about using this is you can see that Everyone likes to say that their clocks are synced to the same time, but this shows otherwise. One cool thing with Scepter is if we go in here, enhance that up, this looks like the first guy to start calling, and this looks like the second guy to start calling. There's about a four second delta between the first guy and the second, or the last guy to start calling up. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Zoom out a little bit. Right over here, we got a PSK 31 signal. Enhance that. Get a good look at him. Enhance. If you say enhance, it gives you at least another dB of resolution. Okay, let's say we want to hide that annotation real quick. Let's drop a marker here. Drop a marker there. And ah, 31 hertz. Another cool thing we can do here is let's draw a box around him. It's a one hertz, one kilohertz box, so. Come on, buddy. Come over here. On our selection, we're going to look at our analog D mods. If we come in here to our phase, do a two point click on this phase guy. Now you can start seeing some of the uh, phase shift keen in PSK. There we go. So there's some of our symbols. All right, let's look out. Turn the annotations back on. Find some really cool signals in HF. So the OFDM guy. Again, we can hit enhance on that. Really get some good resolution on them. Uh, Iona sounder, you know, chirping up the band. It's pretty cool to see those. Radar, a lot of radar down around 5 megahertz. We have some Morse code. It's really cool when you can actually see the dits and the DAWs. It's 
So dot it, did it, it, da da. Going on there. Really cool guy. Zoomed out here. I like using this one to show people kind of what kind of analysis you can get out of a file without even listening to anything. So if we start looking, we can see as we enhance here that the signals aren't on top of each other. We can see that they're AM signal, but the carriers don't seem to line up with each other. What we can do here is we can select this guy. Let's go ahead and set our AM. We're going to hit play on that guy. Let's see if we can hear some audio. Hopefully that's coming through for you. Um, might need to work on being able to play out some of the sound here. But as we enhance this, you'll see that the carriers are actually set apart. Again, we can use that marker mode. See that they're about 107 hertz off. So we can almost identify these two speakers by the carrier deviation of their radios. Or the carrier deviation from frequency by their radios. All right, another cool thing is uh, we got a weather facts here. Let's zoom in on this guy. Enhance. Let's see, there's a weather facts. Select him up. Turn the audio off. We don't need to listen to that. Let's go to some DMOG and oscilloscope. Let's get a oscillogram. Make sure that our parameters are going to be set right here in a second. And turn that over to FMD mod. All right, we'll let this run for a second. And enhance on here. Clean that up a little bit. And uh, you can't see it through YouTube, but all this is being ran off of a uh, ThinkPad X1 uh, laptop. So it's not a, not a magical system with, you know, gobs and gobs of compute power. It's being done on a laptop hooked up to a monitor. Uh, this file was recorded using the same laptop, a B200 and an AirSpy Spyverter hooked up to a really awesome HF log periodic. So as this scrolls out, we probably could have got a little better decode on this, but for a demo, I think it's pretty good. You'll see that we're demodding this WeFax as an FM signal, sending that FM signal through our oscilloscope, and then rastering up that oscilloscope. We can even continue to zoom around and look around the band as that's taking place. You can have the same functionality in a live mode with a live receiver by enabling the DVR. But my favorite is doing it with a file.
And there you go. It's a scepter with its static file view and the uh, static file view options. For any information, please contact info at 3db-labs.com.